next level minute next level minute next level minute next level minute Get your mind set right. Time to plan out 
what you want to do in this life. So when I looked at this message and heard what God was saying, I realized that this day is only a speck in time. Amen. So therefore, and it don't even measure in any wise in eternity. God has set our bounds that we cannot pass, the Bible said. Man that's born of a woman is full of trouble. And sometimes you got trouble being around one. That stands for crew talk, good looking boy, have Sam too. Sometimes we give each other trouble in time, and we don't have much time left. Sometimes we spend time worrying, wasting time. Look at somebody and say, be careful with time. I know you don't think about it much, but you gotta be careful with time. Take time to get to the job. Take time to drive down the road. Enjoy the scenery that God has given you. You don't have to be a speedster. You don't have to be a road star. You don't have to run over folk. All you got to do is just make up your mind that you're gonna take your time and live with God and let Him bless you. With more time. Amen. Sometimes if you don't take up enough time, time, time will show your days. So you got to be how careful how you deal with time. The awesome thing about it is that the Bible said, For God so loved this world. Yeah, those that was coming this way, those that was going to be coming out from God, those who are going to be coming through your mom's womb, those of you, amen, that would come here, get here, wonder why you're here, where you came from, and where you're going. One of these days, you're going to make time at the end of time. You're going to have to give an answer. You're going to have to give account for every day, every minute, every second, and every hour, every week, and every year. you got to give, amen, account of your time. What you did with it, what you said in it, how you lived it out, what you said to other folks that was around. Somebody said, Time is measuring your life. Sometimes you had time to take out the time and be able to help somebody along the way, be able to encourage somebody, be able to inspire somebody, be able to help somebody along. The way, but some of us didn't have time. Most of us don't realize that when we take time, amen, we are actually opening the door many times to eternal life. When I look at those that rush past the church, will pass by 10 churches to get to one crack house. church house, pass by God, pass by everything, ain't got time to speak to God, don't have time to take up with family, don't have time to take up with friends because they are in a hurry to spend their time. But we must realize that time is a benefit. Look at your neighbor said time is a benefit. But some of us don't know how to handle our benefits. We don't know how to use that God has given us in the measure of time. Yeah, we in a rush to go nowhere in a hurry. We will wreck somebody, hit somebody on the road, and we're only going two blocks down the street, and we're doing 80 miles an hour to get there. Y'all know what they say. You got somebody flying in front of you, come by it. They rushing you at the red light, and I be blowing their horn and laying down on it. Amen. Did their own life threat? Could get their brains blown out by setting the man in front of them, but they ain't got time. God wants us to know you gotta give time to whatever God's got planned for your life. Somebody's trying to make church happen in a hurry. We need to get this done. We need to get that done. We gotta do this and we gotta do that. Man, we ain't got time. I'm telling you, I'm in a hurry. I gotta get to church. I gotta make God's plan work. I gotta make sure that 
this plan is right. I gotta make sure, amen, that I go and tell him what you said, Lord. I gotta make sure that I do whatever I feel that is necessary. So we will prophesy and prophesy and we'll do it out of time. Don't worry, it's gonna get there soon enough. Take your time and let God tell you what he said. Take time and listen to the rest of the conversation. Take time and hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Because sometimes we take off and we don't know what our God is saying. So we're doing things before he finished speaking. But I wish I had somebody to know that God said, I'll hear you when you call. I'll answer by the words of the end of your mouth. You want me to do that. I'm gonna do it. But you gotta wait your turn. You gotta wait till I finish speaking. You gotta wait till the vision completes itself. You gotta wait the vision is for a set time. Somebody say a set time. And you gotta know that God got a set time. Somebody say God got a set time. He said, go the vision. Said, Though you haven't got there yet, I showed you what I want you to do. I told you where I wanted you to go. But you gotta wait on me. You can't get there by yourself. But you gotta hear what I gotta say to you. The woman at the well, she was afraid to go to the well at a certain time. She had married five men and probably had somebody else's husband that she had married along the way. And she also had a husband or a man she was living with. But the Bible said that Jesus went by the well that was called Jacob's well. And when Jesus got to the well, he decided to sit down and rest a little while. The Bible said that there was a woman of Samaria. When she got to the well, Jesus was sitting on the well. If I said Jesus was a well on the way. So when she got there, the Lord looked at her. Now some, somebody talked about all those wells that Jacob had dug down through the years. But this particular well was down. She found Jesus, the well of living water. And the well that Jacob dug. The Bible said that when she got there, Jesus said, give me a drink of water. And she looked at him and said, sir, how is it that you can ask for water. Because the Jews and the Samaritans, you are Jew. I'm a Samaritan. And we don't have no dealings. Look at your neighbor and say, if you don't like your brother because he's a different color, you're going to miss God's will. Your enlightenment would never you're being darkness all your life. Am I talking right? So therefore, I want you to know you need to get that I don't like white people out of your head if it's in there. Because most of us broke folk that look like you can do not play. We don't own enough houses. We splurge up everything we get. 
We drink it up, eat it up, shoot it up, smoke it up. Or we press it up. I wish I had some help up in here. So what I'm saying today, I'm trying to get you established. As long as your mind is one side, you can never see both sides. So the woman at the well said, so you a Jew and I'm a Samaritan. So how is it you can ask me for some water? But Jesus told her, if you only knew who was asking you for some water, you would ask him for a drink of water. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if you thirst, you got to really come to Jesus to get your real thirst quenched. For you see that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He gave all he had. And you won't even give God no time. He gave all his hand. And you won't even give God praise. He gave all he had. And you won't give God no service. He gave all that he had. And you won't even give up no sin. But the Bible said, he said, woman, if you only knew who was asking you to give him some more, you would be asking me to give you some more. Quit your purse. The woman looked at him and said, Abraham, Alpha, Jacob, the grandson. Jesus said, I will give you eternal life. Somebody say eternal life. The water I'm going to give you is greater than you've ever tasted before. The water that I have is greater than anything you've seen before. So Jesus So by the way, where's your husband's? And she said, well, I don't have one. Jesus said, you well said. You've had five in the past. And the one that you dated now, one you shacked up with again. He's not your own. Look at somebody say, neighbor. neighbor. Don't nobody harm this yet. But rats and roaches. Amen. Come on here, somebody. If I say, if you want eternal life, you got to shift some stuff. You got to change some direction. You got to admit some stuff. You got to see yourself where you are. Jesus told that woman, if you drink of this water, you won't thirst no more. Jesus came to change her life. Notice he left the disciples behind. Because they had a mindset problem. You can be saved in the church, born again, with a bad mindset. Am I talking right? Because you got to get in the will of God. You got to get in the plan of God. You got to get in the purpose of God. If you too black, you will have to stay back. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Brother, let you stay in the first grade all your life. Am I talking right? You got to, you can't be black in your mind. You can't be black in your thinking. You can't be black in your interpretation. Am I talking right? No, God made a word. He made people to help people. That's why I go in the white restaurant. I go in the black restaurant. I go in the Italian restaurant. I eat Mexican food. Hallelujah. That's why my brother just called me this morning from Honduras. My other brother called me from Africa. My other brother called me from India. Somebody tell God thank you. My brother called me from Haiti. 
the Bible says.
don't take a whole year. It don't take a month. But everybody said, but when I pray, 